one of the most common defenses that I hear coming from the left or even coming from people who are trying to, I don't know, I guess they're, I, I don't know what their purpose is. They say that, well, you can't um, blame everybody. I mean, yeah, that's just that, you know, it's not, it's not every agent. It's not every agent within the, within the FBI. It's not everybody. Yeah, but I just remember those pictures from all over the country, and it seemed like a lot of them. Seemed like a lot of people. They had the FBI vests on. Seemed like a lot. I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking at a picture right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, there's quite a lot of them, right? So, well, what's the point of saying, well, it's just the leadership, it's not? No, the, the rot's at the top, but it goes a lot deeper. Rot's head down. And we can see that. Gave them a gift card. Gave them a gift card. I just, by the way, I hate gift cards. Hate them. I don't know why. I just don't, it's just, I forget, it. sometimes I'll forget. You know, I got to keep everything. I don't know. Gift cards are weird. So the symbolic gesture, as they were calling it, which was nauseating to everybody who saw it. There were a lot of career agents who were nauseated by it as well. They didn't like it. But it. But the problem is that this is so widespread. I just, I'm just tired. I, I, I'm just tired of the defenses of, well, it's, it's just, you know, it's the leadership or it's not widespread because it, it is. I mean, that's, it, it, it's a, a problem that, is driving a major distrust, Americans' major distrust in these institutions, and for good reason. Merrick Garland's been asked about a number of things. He's been asked about weaponized DOJ, weaponized FBI. He was also asked, this audio, as to where biological males should be held in prison. This was something that was very fascinating. Listen to this Q&A here, audio soundbite 22. Are you concerned that if a biological male is sent to a female prison, that could be a risk to female prisoners? I think every uh, uh, person in prison has to be dealt with, uh, with dignity and respect. Uh, that determinations of the safety questions you're talking about have to be made on an individualized basis uh, and not categorically. Hmm. He was asked, by Lindsey Graham. Graham said, so what's our policy when it comes to allowing a male prisoner to be transitioned into a female prison? Garland responded, well, if you're generally asking the question of how trans people are dealt with in the Bureau of Prisons, my understanding is that there are determinations about where they're placed or where people are placed in general and have to do with individualized determinations regarding the security of that individual and the management of the prison, case by case, blah, blah, blah. And he also said that he thinks that there were policy guidelines. Graham wanted the Bureau of Prisons and the audio exchange to send it to the Senate. And he says, and that's when he asked, well, are you concerned that if a biological male was sent to a female prison, that could be a risk to female prisoners? And that's when Garland said, well, I think every person has to, every person in prison has to be dealt with dignity and, and respect. That has to, you know, uh, the determinations of the safety questions you're talking about have to be made on an individual, individualized basis. So that was the, that was the full exchange there. So it sounds like you're, ca you're catering to cosplay. That has nothing to do with either dignity or respect. You're catering to, cross, to, to cosplay. If a male prisoner, that's actually, I mean, that's insane to think that all the way up to Merrick Garland, they can't. No, wait, it's, a, it's about dignity and respect. It's not about dignity and respect. You're, in fact, d be disrespecting the females in the women prison by allowing a male predator who cosplays as a woman into the female population with them. There are so many horror stories that are coming out of the states that are allowing this. In California, for instance, I've spoken to a number of people. It's odd because some of these people, they're like far left groups, but they stop at that third wave feminist. We're going to go ahead and allow the, the patriarchy, the progressive patriarchy to appropriate the female sex. They stop at that. And they have been helping women in California prisons who are being forced to... Uh, be in the same population with a man who identifies as a woman. Like there have been rapists that have been housed in, in female populations 
and because they identify, they just conveniently identify as a woman. That's not a joke. I'm not making this up. I mean, this is, I mean, we've talked about it in the show. I've done specials with uh, the network that runs the simulcast for the nationally syndicated radio show, the first. And I've talked to people who have worked with these uh, with these prisoners and have been advocating for them on their behalf because these women are terrified for their safety. So where's Mayor Garland's concern about the safety of prisoners? I mean, yes, do your time. But where's the left when it comes to cruel and unusual punishment? Because I think that, you know, women in jail shouldn't have to sit here and share space with a damn rapist. But see, even Mayor Garland, true to his progressive form, can't bring himself to acknowledge that. Can't even... Give women the courtesy of acknowledging it. That's not law. That's it's activism. Every person has to be dealt with dignity and respect. Well, you're only choosing to you're only choosing to pretend to acknowledge that for one side and not the other. If you're not igno- if you're not having dignity and respect for all, then you don't have it for anybody. You can't sit here and say, "Women, shut up! You're bigots!" If you if you are uh, worried about a guy being housed in the prison, female prison population and then, then just cater to the dude who's, this is the, the uh, this is what gets me. This is how it is. If you had a guy who walked up to a woman in the gym, dropped his pants, shook his bits, he might get cited. He'd get cited. He'd get cited for what, exposure and decency, maybe harass something. But if that same guy said, oh, wait, I'm a woman, walked into the women's locker room, did the same thing, oh, the woman's a bigot. Do you see how the individual, the only thing that changes is the claim of the individual as to what they situationally are at that particular moment? And we call that basis science? That's stupid. We're going to make ourselves go extinct. That's what's going to happen. And we deserve it, honestly. If Smod doesn't come and do it first, Now you guys know why I am Smod's biggest fan.